Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, crystal blue roses of the 12D Venusian Queendom of Light. Welcome to the last day of May, the 31st, and the last day of the powerful Red Dragon Wave Spell on the Mayan calendar with Galactic Signature Keen 13, Red Cosmic Skywalker, and Tone 13, creating a 444 portal and a 13-13-13 gateway. Through this portal activation, we had a massive wave of light flowing into this realm from the great central sun, appearing on the Schumann charts at amplitudes of 31 hertz, 44 hertz, 45 hertz, and a huge gamma blast at 55 hertz. All the paths leading directly to the fountain Nesh has cleared the way for the journey beyond the threshold of the new earth manifestation. All is coming into alignment for humanity to be the caretakers of the kin's domains and be the guardians, protectors, and caretakers of the sacred lands of Pachamama. The trees and elementals are working with all star seed ground crew to bring into fruition our visions of living in harmony with nature and walking the sacred path of the Tao. We have gone through a quantum shift of consciousness through the new moon portal as we enter our harmonic convergence point in the space-time continuum as our multidimensional awareness merges all timelines through our zero-point still center of the white magnetic light. We are navigating through the unknown waters, through the void, and into the original divine blueprint of peace, balance, and harmony that is our divine birthright. This is the divine plan all along to evolve consciousness through the nine levels of expansion into unity consciousness and ultimately cosmic. We are at the point of no return beyond the event horizon and into the singularity of our pure awareness. This was the journey within all along as we were seers of the knowledge of our true nature, our sacred self. It was hidden the whole time in our bright heart center, the fire in the middle of the sacred hoop. To experience our Buddha nature, we must sit in the stillness of our pure awareness as we journey within. In the silence, the mind reflects itself perfectly and all is revealed. This is why we must realize our own true nature that is eternal and unchanging. For all that appears in the external world of appearances is ever changing and unreal. That which is real never changes. This is the love of our I am presence, pure, clear, and bliss consciousness. For we fell asleep all for the joy of waking up. I know the process has been a challenging one, but the rewards of the Great Awakening will far outweigh what we have suffered to get here. Consciousness is ready for the quantum leap into the pure land of enlightenment, for we have suffered enough. How powerful we truly are as starseed ground crew, for no matter what we suffered, we still showed kindness, compassion, and love for our people all sentient beings and life through it all. Well done, beloveds. We are very close to our ascension breakthrough. So hang tough and hold the line for the divine plan is in full momentum now. Although a hair's width is a thousand miles, all it will take is one giant leap of faith of our collective earth angelics of the 144 to shift the whole simulation into the paradise she has always evolved to be. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginningless beginning and the endless end. This is it. This is eternity. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle from PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes 
So be sure to stick around to the very end and please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. 73 flowing in 37 into 73 heaven on earth code now we continue with the sabian symbols right now the moon is at 28 degrees 36 minutes gemini the sun is at 10 degrees 38 minutes gemini the current sabian symbol for the sun at 11 degrees gemini newly opened lands offer the pioneer new opportunities for experience and the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 29 degrees Gemini. The first mockingbird of spring sings from the treetop. From astrologyweekly.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Amanda Lawrence. Approximately one hour ago, incoming energies changed, bringing in exquisite and coded vibrations. Now at 8.30 p.m. UK time, incoming has increased. To significantly strong and from divine sister of the light elizabeth peru special note earth's heartbeat for nearly two weeks now every day the schumann resonance has been elevated in volume to an average of around 40 hertz in power that's over five times higher than base level i imagine that you're feeling it because our brainwave states are directly entrained with the earth's resonance which means that your brain cells are amplifying your state of mind into a higher level of awareness. It's important to accept the lift. It's helping you. Rather than refusing the change, you can focus upon becoming more like your true nature, loving, allowing, and open. All it takes is your decision to do so. We're in the midst of a deeply revealing energy period. There's more to come. From ElizabethPeru.com and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Divine Feminine 7777, how are you feeling? Another new moon, another powerful cycle of clearing, and releasing the old to be able to enter the new, or bring more of the new high frequency energy into your own system and the collective system. The energy is still powerful, our systems are being upgraded, the light body is receiving more energy, we are receiving new light codes from the central sun and clearing out the old. Although this new moon should be easier than others, a lot of you couldn't confirm this. The energy was felt so differently in the physical. Quite a lot of people were feeling the heaviness, anxiety, extreme tiredness, depression, pressure in the body, were not able to sleep or were having nightmares. There were also the ones that were feeling joy, happiness, lightness, and passion to create. The energy caused a lot of triggering or even tower moments for the ones that were on the verge of a major breakthrough. There is a lot of chaos to be felt in the collective energy. Release the heavy energy out of your system if you feel it within. Try to remove yourself from the presence of negative people, energy, and clear your energy after. Focus on the positives. Move forward and prepare yourself for the 6-6 portal it is opening up the massive ascension and transformation pathway that will continue with the 7-7 and the 8-8 portals. Powerful progression. And from Divine Brothra of the Light, Seraph Knight. We are phoenixes being reborn, rebirthed. We are burning everything we are not. We are returning back to our multidimensional self of infinite, powerful, sentient beings here of love and light. We are bringing light to the dark and transforming. We are embracing the dark and light to bring forth balance so as to rebirth back to our infinite self. We are the phoenix rising from the ashes. From the old, a new world is being born. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Judith Kusel. The keys and codes of the first creation, the first paradise on earth. Elysium are reactivated with the original arcs of the covenant. These are the original tree and flower of life patterns, knowledge, codes, and keys, each key activating a certain aspect of creation. These keys work directly with the heart center and every individual soul, and these have been encoded into the soul itself. As the soul consciousness rises, the new crystalline light body activates these within the new DNA and on all cellular levels. 
All of the souls who were involved in the first creation are incarnated. This whole process is overseen by Archangel Metatron and Archangel Butyalil and Lord Vuslu, the ninth dimensional master, and it is thus now a massive ascension wave. Not only the powerful energies pouring in from the seventh central sun of illumination, but also from the keys and codes being reactivated, and the sacred sites, many still hidden, and the new crystal pyramids rising, and the new earth crystalline energy web of light. Thus the ninth to twelfth dimensional states are activating the fifth to seventh, into which we are fully stepping into, each individual soul as it ascends. The old is disintegrating, it cannot hold form. Very potent vital new life forces are being released. You need to keep going deeper within and nurture the divine omnipotent presence in order to navigate the enormity of all this. Seek oneness, ascension through the soul and the power of love. From JudithKusil.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Amira Atlantis. Individual choice points will be the leading edge to guide the collective. Follow your soul bravely. For all of us completing this five month of change, thoughts from the Mer world. Your power ends where your fear begins. Stepping out of old patterns and relationship dynamics takes courage. It also takes courage to stay in tune to the trajectory of our true north and rise above the distractions that test our path. When we truly say yes to that which lives in our heart, our life becomes our greatest picture show. It's as if the movie of your life has been dialed into focus of what is real, authentic, and all else falls away. It's not easy letting go of that which does not resonate anymore for you, but I promise it will come back around if it feeds your soul. Remember you deserve a love greater than you can imagine, abundance that is free-flowing, a life that is magical every single day. Step into your greatness without doubts or fears, because God's got you. The universe is always conspiring to bring you to your next level of soul development and miracles. Love, let go, and witness the magic. Amera Atlantis, Star of the Sea, from AmeraAtlantis.com And from Divine Brother of the Light, Pars Kute. When we love others and allow them to follow their own chosen path, it awakens the energy of compassion and acceptance within us. This energy fills our hearts and permeates our world. It allows us to receive the same energy from others, which can give us a sense of freedom to be all we can be. At times, the chosen path of others may seem destructive to us, and it is not the energy that we would choose to be around. In these situations, often the most loving thing we can do is allow them to follow their chosen path, and we must give ourselves permission to follow the path which is in our highest good. This may even mean never seeing them again. We set the energy we want in our world by awakening our consciousness to all the good available to us. It's a matter of choice. We attune ourselves to only that which we would have in our lives. We release the need to be right. We close our minds to the negative thoughts that threaten our happiness. Moment to moment, we make the choice to live in the light of pure love. As we do, we are being a true bridge from heaven to earth. Making the choice for love allows us to be in the world, but not of the world. When we make the choice to love others as they are, we pave the way for a mass awakening of love on the planet, so all may be free. We receive love, give love, and be love. With this loving energy as our intention, we remember our message for today. Loving others in their own chosen path is setting the energy we want in the world. With divine love of one pars kute. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Asara Adams, Energy Update by Adama of Telos. Greetings, beloved ones. We are most joyous to connect with you here today, and we are sending you our utmost love from the heart of Telos. Dear one, the crystalline structure of the planet is changing over to the 5D frequencies, and this is connecting with your human DNA and RNA messenger codes within your bodies. 
This might cause what you term ascension symptoms, such as dizziness, trouble sleeping, and so forth. As always, during these phases of intense energies, it is important to be kind to yourself, rest, meditate, and drink plenty of pure water. At the same time, your consciousness is vastly expanding, and your ability to integrate the I Am Presence consciousness into your mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual bodies is increasing profoundly. This allows you to be more and more in control of your thoughts, words, emotions, and energetic field to express your I Am Presence in your daily life. It still requires your deliberate intent to align your thoughts, words, emotions, and energetic field with your I Am Presence. The more you call for the I Am Presence to fill your being, the easier your life here will become. The fulfillment of your divine purpose and reason for being here is to be the physical vessel for your I Am Presence to create heaven on earth here and to crowd out the darkness with your divine light. Before you embodied in this lifetime, you saw the need of planet earth as it was your intent to bring forth this divine light. Just your being here and your own raising of your vibrational frequencies with the divine light of your I Am Presence is already fulfilling your divine purpose. There might be other things that you came here to accomplish, but dear one, your own radiation of divine light and your ascension has a profound effect on this planet. Of course, you can take this a step further by calling forth the divine light of God and the ascended realm for the earth, which is another important reason for being here. We champion your victory in the light. Welcome home. We send you all so much love. You are carried on the wings of angels to bring forth the new earth. Know in your heart that you are always surrounded by your angels, ascended masters, guides, galactic families of light, and yes, also by your family and friends in Telos, and always will be. Dear ones, we are walking with you on this journey, and you are loved beyond measure, always. I am your brother, Adama of Telos. Thank you, Adama, from TelosChannel.com. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Aurora Ray, the transformation of 3D to 5D Earth is under progress. The evolution of your planet is happening now. This transition has been predicted by many ancient cultures and religions that have existed on this planet eons ago. The ancient prophecies state that a time will come when humans will have to learn how to coexist with each other and other galactic societies. They also state that our world will go through changes as we head into the fifth dimension and our lifestyle will change dramatically as we go through these changes. Now we have reached a point where we are being encouraged by divine entities and other spiritual forces in the universe to develop new ways of thinking so that we can proceed with our evolution towards 5D Earth. Many people are unaware of the transformation taking place at this moment. You see it all around us on the media every day where everything seems chaotic most times. However, despite all these negative news reports, some good things continue happening like moving forward into more positive times ahead. The transformation from 3D to 5D Earth is happening now because humanity has reached a level where it can handle more knowledge, more power, and more financial freedom. However, not everyone will be able to make this jump easily or anytime soon. Some people are simply afraid to surrender their ego mind and let go of all their illusion they mistake for reality. In order for us all to move forward together as one unified species, living on one planet with one purpose, raising consciousness. We must work together towards this goal by being kinder towards each other and helping those who need extra support getting through these changes smoothly. How do you prepare for the transformation of our earth? The transition from 3D to 5D is a very important part of human evolution. The change can be expected very soon. In fact, we are in the midst of it, even if you can't see it yet. This is why understanding what 5D life feels like is helpful in determining where we stand on our own personal path towards higher consciousness, as well as contributing towards humanity's collective ascension process. To begin this journey into spiritual enlightenment and expanded consciousness, it's important for us all here on earth to first understand what exactly 5D means. 
How do people act differently when they're awakening versus being asleep? What kind of thoughts are going through their head? What would love do? Would love do that? Would love say that? Is that love? In the 3D realm, everything is polarized and there's no in-between. Everything is black or white, good or bad, right or wrong. It's all about ego and separation from each other and nature. If a person isn't perfect in every way, they are considered flawed and worthless. We judge others based on how they look, how much money they have, or if they're smarter than us. We judge ourselves based on our weight and appearance instead of what is within us that makes us valuable as individuals, our soul vibration. To put it simply, when you move from our current three-dimensional reality to a five-dimensional one, reality becomes much more fluid and malleable. You stop taking things personal, you detach from many ideas. The outcome has become secondary in value. You do not engage in drama or gossip. You work with ethics and integrity. When you are living in this 5D state, your consciousness will feel light, free, and open. Everything feels easy because your body isn't weighted down with dense negative vibrations anymore. You'll also be able to access your abilities more easily as there are no longer any restrictions holding back your thoughts within this space. In other words, the only limitation on your mind exists within yourself. Conclusion We can make this transition process easier by changing our way of thinking and being more positive about everything around us. The transformation of Earth from 3D vibration to 5D will happen as you accept these changes inside your own mind, body, and soul. Remember that it doesn't matter what people tell you about yourself or the world around you. Because only you know who you really are at a deep level inside yourself, no matter who or what comes into your life from outside sources. This means that if someone tells you something negative about yourself, then do not believe them, because you know better than anyone else just how amazing you are. It's important to be open to the idea that there is a shift happening on our planet. We have been waiting for it for so long. If you can feel like we are all waiting in line to get into heaven, but without knowing it, we are already there. We just have to realize it. We love you dearly. We are here with you. We are your family of light. Aho, Aurora Ray, Ambassador of the Galactic Federation, from the thegalacticfederation.com. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn, 144 God Code. The call to move ahead is summoning you into the higher dimensional timelines. You're leaving behind people that purposefully played with your love and emotions. The damage they caused stripped you from feeling safe to simply being yourself. You've healed yourself of this, and forgiveness is all that is needed now to restore your power. As we continue shifting through these parallel universes, your confidence is restoring. Your heart gateway is open for higher heart chakra transmissions, to evolve your soul and spirit back into your primordial timeline. This is your original divine blueprint and the real you, reborn. However, restoring this position may bring up a lot of anger and suppressed emotions. Mental overload may push you to set boundaries like never before. And cut out the bull shift, internally and externally. Enough is enough. This push for your highest good, forcing a final decision to be made. Some things need to be left in the past for you to move ahead. Your dreams are coming true. Focusing on them without distractions is supporting manifesting them into reality. In Jesus Christos' name, Amen. God bless you, Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Natalia Alba. Beloved ones, we end and begin June with a new moon at 9 degrees Gemini together with the second Saturn semi-sextile Neptune on the next day. Gemini represents duality, and indeed this is what we as ascending souls are constantly working with, the synthesis between opposite polarities. Gemini is a perfect sign for creating balance. Gemini represents our silver and golden, feminine and masculine aspects. And like them, it is in embracing each other in an equal and rhythmical dance of love and oneness that we can truly be at peace. The essence of this moon is about creating more harmony so we can align with the new harmonic timeline that has already been created. 
This is a very powerful moon, as it is surrounded by many important planetary encounters that when properly integrated will help us into the disillusion of the old so we can begin anew from a space of joy, love, and passion towards what we wish to create. Saturn and Mercury are the two main influences of this moon. Mercury, Gemini's ruler, squares Saturn and invites us to bring all we envision in our mental plane into the physical, committing to our goals and focusing on bringing our desires into fruition. The other influence governing this moon is Mars conjunct Jupiter. Planetary encounters that invite us, as Saturn and Aquarius reminds us too, to break free from limited thought patterns if we wish to move into a new personal cycle. Energies that also remind us of the importance of reconnecting with our true essence through the power of joy, as this is the energy that Gemini invites us to cultivate if we desire to connect with all we wish to create, as well as feel in a more peaceful state of being. Mars conjunct Jupiter is a wonderful frequency for us to align with the strength, courage, vitality, and passion within to conquer any difficulty and begin a path of conscious creation. These planetary forces give us the energy, the push we may need to move forward from old scenarios and Focus on that which is going to help us build our new reality, as old situations are only alive only when we choose to continue thinking about them, recreating similar results in the present. It is time to move from the old, and the old for us is anything that belongs to a previous moment. For when we chose this conscious path, we knew that change was going to be a constant letting go, as the only way to integrate again and evolve. A new moon that aligns with Aldebaran within the Taurus constellation, a star very similar in essence to that of the warrior Mars, and that also happens while Mars and Jupiter align, as this moon has no planetary aspects, but it receives many influences from other cosmic encounters, energies that if we learn how to conduct it, can lead us to transform ourselves and our lives, coming back to empowerment and a more illumined state of being. This is a passage that is going to trigger a great amount of energy for those who are willing to work with the many frequencies that are now coexisting on earth. Energies that once anchored will remain for when we are ready to align with them and create significant changes in our bodies and lives, for we are just beginning to transform the physical aspect of us. A period of grace after the long integration phase that we just had, and it will continue with the harmonic phase that June brings to us through the 666 portal, together with many other influences that remind us of the importance of staying in the illumined presence of who we are, resting, rejuvenating, healing, and preparing ourselves for a new embodiment, as this has become our new reality now to be constantly adapting to change. I wish you a joyful and loving passage, beloveds. With infinite love, Natalia Alba from StarseedSoul.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Adrian Elise. Gaia Daily, May 31st through June 3rd. Inner Treasures. It's an activation of creative fire with Jupiter and Mars together in Aries and a great time to jumpstart life in a new direction. We are just coming off of the Gemini new moon, inviting a new start for our creative expression. Mercury turns direct on Friday, June 3rd, when the energy will really start to move. Mercury retrograde in Taurus is in a sweet trine with Pluto and Capricorn. We are grounding out a new reality, one where we have full access to our sovereign power. We are finding the confidence and self-worth that can pull us into a new reality. Mercury is lingering at the end degrees of Taurus and will transit back into Gemini on June 13th. Mercury will be in square to Saturn through the first week of June. We are adjusting our self-worth and value so we can begin to share and express the truth of who we really are with the world. Mercury will be in square to Vesta, keeper of the sacred flame. As he comes out of retrograde shadow near the middle of the month, we are coming face to face with our greater spiritual destiny. Jupiter and Mars, together in Aries, are in square to Black Moon Lilith in Cancer. 
representing our deepest hidden psyche. We are working out and healing our relationship to the mother archetype so that we can fully receive this new reality. The moon in Cancer this week will amplify this energy, bringing a deep emotional desire to feel connected back to source, allowing ourselves to feel held and loved in this experience. Venus is enjoying being back home in Taurus. We are resetting our vibration to more fully receive and celebrate the abundance of what we really are. Isn't it time for this life to fully support you in your full spiritual expression? There will be a peak of energy around letting ourselves have what we need and come into our true wealth. When Venus comes up to Uranus and then the north node of the moon near the middle of the month, we are awakening our permission for our inner treasures. We are being prepped and perfectly poised to begin to really share our magic and light with the world. From AdrianElise.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse Venus in Taurus, semi-sextile Jupiter in Aries Saturn in Aquarius, semi-sextile Neptune in Pisces Saturn and Neptune repeat their same connection from earlier this month. A sense of deja vu prevails, a feeling that we've been here before, but this time it's different. Something has changed and now it's difficult to see how the dream or vision we hold could manifest. The cosmos hints that we need to work from the inside out, get under the skin, get down below the surface. We need time to figure out what is realistic, what we believe in, what is meaningful, or maybe we simply need to reframe what we see, look with the soul instead of world-weary eyes. Venus and Jupiter's connection dares the heart to open a little more. It's okay to hope for something better. It's okay to smile or laugh or feel the heart skip with joy, even in the midst of grief or disbelief or all manner of life's hardships. Happiness is as ephemeral as a butterfly and all the more beautiful for it. Steal a kiss from the heavens when offered. From LeahWhitehorse.com And from 13 Moon Peace Time, Crystal Rabbit Moon of Cooperation, Moon 12 of 13. This moon calls on us to cease the cycle of hatred and violence and cultivate compassionate communication. It urges us to clear our mind from past conditionings and cooperate with a higher plan. The totem of this moon is the rabbit, with its capacity for 360 degree vision, it can see what is coming from behind, above, and from the sides without turning its head. The 260 codes of the Dream Spell Book of Keen are galactic meditations that unlock the function of our 360 degree vision by activating our Holon, Higher Self. Do not lose heart, though the world of the 1260 is in shambles and brother fights against brother. The codes of the Book of Kin contain the immediate harmony of the new time. Pace yourself through the harmonics and wave spells of the Book of Kin, and the magic of synchronicity will increase on your behalf. Dream Spell Instruction Manual, page 70, Noah's Letter, number 115. And today from the Zolkin Times, Keen 13, Red Cosmic Skywalker. The number 13 is called Cosmic and its keywords are Transcend, Endure, and Presence. The 13th day of a wave spell is the last stop of a journey that had a beginning, many stops along the way and a final destination. We all began on Red Dragon and now we are here. The enduring aspect of the number 13 refers to the processing you must now do to take in and absorb all you have learnt during this wave spell. This prepares you for the next one. The number 13 is powerful, magical, and it demands that we respect it. It teaches us that we must strive, struggle, cry, fight, and ultimately earn our victories. Anything worth having is worth fighting for, and when on the spiritual path, spirit tests you all the time and measures your worth. Hence the meaning of endure to transcend. Today you may suffer a little, but it will be worth it in the end. Today is Red Skywalker and the keywords associated with it are explore, space, and wakefulness. The Skywalker is always trying to wake us up, shake us up, and get us motivated and outside the door. Skywalker also insists you approach things with an open mind. When we have a Red Skywalker day, it's helpful to practice these things. 
However, when it falls on the last day of a wave spell, the adventures have the potential to be enduring. Then again, this particular Red Skywalker is Keen 13, and 13 is a sacred number that holds a great deal of power. I always enjoy this day personally, but you never know what to expect from it. This kind of an adventure you go on today has the potential to lead you astray. You'll make it back all right, but you'll have a story to tell. The Skywalker also entices us to expand our minds, and so the energy can be a bit trippy too. The adventure you go on today could be all inside your head, but that's all right as long as you are exploring. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papagiorgio, Red, Cosmic Skywalker, 13 Bane, Keen 13, 31st of May 2022, 444 Portal, Triple 13 Code, A Cosmic Explosion of Love, Navigating the New Bliss, 31 5 2022 equal 4 5 6 equal 4 11 equal 4 2 equal 6 4 5 6 ready set go from earth to heaven 31st of may last day of challenging may hip hip hooray day codes 31 genius think outside the box 4 form structure foundation earth angelic 6 heaven christ family romance fertility month year codes 5. Freedom, Liberation, Change, Transformation, Movement. 6. Heaven, Christ, Family, Romance, Fertility. 11. Illumination, Portal, Gate, Polarity. 2. Twins, Cooperation, Partner, Duality. 20. The Awakening, Clear Vision. 22. Architect of Peace, Master Builder. Keen 13 equal Cosmic Consciousness, Goddess. 13. Moons, Natural Lore. Keen 13, Tone 13, Skywalker Tribe 13, equal 13, 13, 13, Triple Cosmic Goddess Codes Today, 13, 13, 13, equal 4, 4, 4, plus May 31st, equal 4, equal 44, 44, Exploring All Four Corners of New Earth, A Magical Expansive Cosmic Portal Accessing Total Ecstatic Bliss. And so we have arrived at the final destination of our journey with Emish, a red mother dragon, where we have been incubating deep in the womb of creation. Our main focus has been reawakening our feminine aspects by attuning to the importance of love, nurturance, and compassion for ourselves and our planet. Realizing the importance of self-love in the giving and receiving of unconditional love, in order to grow and flourish and be born anew. Our focus has been on self-love, self-care, and nurturing ourselves and our kin, getting in touch with our softer and more feminine aspects in order to embody the divine feminine creation energies in our being. This has been necessary in order to build up our self-esteem, confidence, and acceptance of our value in the world. Today we have reached the culmination of our birthing cycle and we are birthing total cosmic bliss. Day 13 is about expanding this energy of divine love and compassion out into the entire cosmos. It is time to step up into our expanded and divine cosmic human presence and be seen in all our divine glory. We commenced our journey on day 1, 19th of May 2022 with Keen 1, our red magnetic mother dragon. We were magnetically attracting through our heart portal, all the love and nurturance that we desire. Yesterday, we experienced the love born from unity and connecting with our kin through the universal communication grid. On day 13, we transcend the need for earthly or human love from our mother and realize the expansiveness of pure cosmic love that exists throughout the universe, easily accessed through the state of pure presence, our realization that all is love. Everything is born of love and we all eventually return to love. All we need is love. We are infinite love. Yesterday, the crystal tone enabled us to connect to the GGG, the Galactic Global Grid, or Ethernet. Now that this is broadcasting today, the Star Bliss Suns can connect to our star families and brethren throughout the cosmos. ET Phone Home a brilliant day for contact and communications in any form with our cosmic friends. Ask for a sign and be prepared for some giggles. 
tone of creation, cosmic tone 13 in the spiritual realm, action transcends, power endure, essence presence, total expansion encompassing your magnificent presence. The 13th day of the red dragon wave spell is the one that gives closure. As we see the totality of what is, and we start shifting our perception. We awaken the mother goddess within us and accomplish what we have been expressing through love, nurturing, and compassion. Through the power of stillness and pure presence, we have transcended our earthly needs and can experience the total cosmic soul expansion through bliss. And so mote it be, precious hearts, a brilliant day for dreaming, astral traveling, time traveling, and sky walking. Visiting 5D New Earth is mandatory on the Super 5D Bliss Day. Quantum jump to New Earth. Tune in and align with the endless cosmic flow to access and receive the greatest bliss codes in the cosmos. Today's question is now that I have embodied more love and accepted my true value, how do I expand that into the cosmos? What is my next blissful adventure on 5D Earth? May you navigate your way throughout this expansiveness of the infinite cosmos, discovering the endless love and bringing home all the treasures you deserve. Happy adventuring, space cadets. Tomorrow is white wizardry day to the power of three. Get ready to enter into the realms of high white magic for the next 13-day cycle. This wave spell is where we have claimed our cosmic presence and stepped up into our power. We can then create endless divine white magic in our world through the power of our enchanted hearts. In la catch a la keen, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 13, Red Cosmic Skywalker. The mantra, the code for today is, I endure in order to explore. Transcending wakefulness, I seal the output of space. With the cosmic tone of presence, I am guided by the power of navigation. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions, and we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges on Patreon and donations, we're able to continue this work. If you'd like to help support us and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Michelle Oling, for your donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Sistar. We appreciate you and your support. I'd like to also thank Divine Brother of the Light, Milo Shradik, for another donation. Thank you, Divine Brother your continued support and i'd like to also thank divine sister of the light barbara schroer for another donation thank you very much divine sister we appreciate you and your continued support if you'd like to support us with a one-time donation you could do so to our paypal account at egolovecondor.com i'd like to also thank divine bro of the light gerald primus for your Super thanks donation today. We appreciate you and your support, Divine Brother. If you'd like to support us underneath every video, there's a little heart with thanks next to it where you can give us a donation through YouTube. So thank you everyone that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this without you. I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork you could purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totem, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmission with a powerful prayer from Divine Sister of the Light, Minima. We call upon our divine benevolent ancestors to walk with us, guide us, and assist us on our earth journey. 
We call upon our most divine, benevolent ancestors of the stars to remind us, show us who we truly are, so we may stand in our power and be who we came here to be. I call upon myself, the ancestor returned to self-master myself. I say, from Mother of Starkeeping.com. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. 4444 coming in. Have a most beautiful and blessed dream spell of the White Wizard starting tomorrow. For the next 13 days as we begin our journey into the powerful month of June, 66 Portal and the Summer Solstice as we rise higher along the Ascension Spiral. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step. And keep shining your light brightly into the night. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.